Hi, welcome back. I'm Debbie Nelson, contributing editor and project manager with Nixine Journal. And we're talking with Adrian Nixon again today. Um, right now we're going to talk with him about how you'd best describe graphene. So Adrian, what would you say to help people understand what graphene is? It's really simple and really complicated at the same time, which is good. Um, the simple bit is graphene is carbon. So what is carbon? It's the same stuff that's in uh, soot or in pencils. You know, you see the, uh, the tip of the pencil? Everybody's familiar with that. Here's a slightly bigger piece of uh, graphite. And that's, that's carbon. We've also got um, carbon is the same stuff in diamonds. So here's a brilliant cut diamond, obviously not a real one, uh, partly because it's pink and made of glass, but you get the idea. Um, but the, the important thing to realize here is that is carbon exactly the same stuff that's in your pencils. So why the difference? Well, it turns out it's the way the atoms are arranged. So if we took a look at graphite, this is a molecular model. Now I'm a chemist, so I like playing around with these things. The way these things work is there are three dimensional representation of something. So that, that black thing there is a carbon atom. And the gray thing here is um, a carbon bond, a bond between two atoms. We'll talk about bonds in a future video, but can you see, how in graphite we've got this hexagonal structure, but can you see if I turn it sideways that it's made up of different layers? And I'll come back to those layers in a minute, but basically it's like a stack of playing cards. That's graphite, the stuff that's in pencils. Diamonds, the, uh, the stuff we showed you earlier, that, that thing, exactly the same. Can you see the model looks the same? So it's um, got black carbon atoms and bonds between them, except they're arranged in a slightly different way. So now there's this three dimensional structure, whereas in graphite, they were confined to layers. This one's sort of connected up in 3D and you've got these little tetrahedral bonds. That's what diamond looks inside. So these things are called allotropes. It's the same material, it's just organized, bonded if you like, in a slightly different way. And that's what gives it the different properties. And that's all that makes graphite, the stuff in pencils, different to diamonds. Um, so graphene. Graphene is still carbon. Um, if we have a look at another model here, it is a larger sheet of carbon atoms and they're arranged in hexagons. So it looks like chicken wire. I think most countries actually call chicken wire chicken wire. I think, do you call that the same thing in the States? Yeah. It does. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's uh, that hexagonal structure. And can you see how it's flat? Let me just uh, go back to graphite. Do you remember I talked about graphite being made up of lots of layers? Do yes. you see those layers are made of hexagons? One of those layers is a layer of graphene. And so graphene is to graphite as a playing card is to a deck of playing, car uh, playing cards. And the way that uh, graphene was first discovered, it's been known about probably since about the 1940s. The name graphene has been around for quite a long time. Um, but the uh, interesting thing here is that everybody knew that graphene was inside graphite, but it was only until 2004 when Andre Geim and Kostya Novoselov, who you know, Debbie, because um, you hang around with Nobel Prize winners <laughs> and interview them for our journal. Um, Andre and Kostya actually took some sellotape onto a block of graphite and they stuck some sellotape on the bottom, sellotape on the top, peeled off, and then took the sellotape again peeled off again and effectively what they were doing was cleaving the deck of playing cards until eventually they got down to just one atom thick layer which turned out to be graphene and nobody realized that you could ever get a one dimensional one atom thick sorry one atom thick two dimensional material isolated from graphite which was a, an amazing feat so they won the Nobel Prize for that not just for isolating graphene but also for testing it and working out what all its amazing properties were. So we'll talk about the properties in another video, but for now, that sort of gives you a brief introduction to what graphene is. So it's made of carbon, just like diamonds, just like graphite, just arranged in a slightly different way, and it will do amazing things. That is amazing. Thank you so much for explaining that. I mean, the diagrams are perfect because it shows you how it's just one single layer from a stack that you would have if it was graphite. You've got it. That's all it is. As I said, quite simple, really, on one level. Then we can dive down into lots more detail in future videos, and you'll find just how complicated it really gets. But for now, that's good enough for us.
Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Adrian. We will be back again to talk some more about graphene. Looking forward to it.